Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Marvelous. I'm Zerfall. I'm All Dragon. And as you can see, I'm not so marvelous at hitting the right buttons. You should have <laughs> caught a little bit of the chest being opened in the last video because I hit the OK button instead of the stop recording button. <laughs> but surprise, surprise, it turned out to be a blue key. Blue key four. Blue key you had turned into blue key four. I wonder what it opens. I wonder what it opens. Probably not that blue door. Wow, you opened it. That key will probably open the blue door. Let's go there right away. No. Leave me alone. Let's not. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, girls are grody. <laughs> she only cares for leadership, men of leadership. Ooh, I like a man with a hat. It's funny, when you first switch, apparently the game is a little bit paused. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, that is that is hilarious. Now, the question is, can she keep up with you? I suspect not, but I suspect that it doesn't matter. Also, can you climb ladders, Miss Gina? Again, I suspect it doesn't matter. <laughs> The, the blue key is down, by the way. Or the blue door. I know it is. Okay, all right. Just wanted to just wanted to make sure that I'm gonna that... bring her to this temple and see what she says. Okay. Want to make sure that, that, that you were you were you yeah. knew where you were going. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? I wonder if we're lost. Let's look for the blue door elevator. I think it was below the room I was trapped in. Jeez, what are you stupid? Yeah, but there's a blue door right here. That's not the right blue door. It's not the right shade of blue. See you, Miss Gina. Oh god, she's like the T1000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't see her fall down. Oh, she's she's just already there. down there. My god. If that other door Rudy, turns out to never Tina. be anything, I'm going to be a little disappointed. I'm sorry? If that other blue door turns out to never be anything, I'll be a little disappointed. The door shut tightly. There's a small hole. I'm going to talk to Miss Gina first. See if she's excited about this. What's the matter? I wonder if we're lost. Let's look for the blue door elevator. I think it was below the room I was trapped in. Well, Miss Gina, you're, uh... Situational awareness uh, has some <laughs> something lacking. <laughs> is it? Wait, the door is open now. This this uh, sweet music already happening. Everything. There's got to be a false. Uh, everything's fine now. Going. And on. then the robot attacks us, murders us. <laughs> Self destruct timer. Sixty seconds left. I, I was not expecting that. Robot, hmm? something's wrong. It's not luck or chance, but this place does seem to be going south a bit. I mean, well, but but we're supposed to go through the blue door. Maybe this other blue door. Maybe this other blue door is where the safety lies, right? Because, like... I suppose it's a good thing that I told you to uh, save state a minute ago. Yeah. Because we, we only have 50 seconds to get out of here, so that's... Well, now we have to see what happens. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Maybe, maybe to get into this section, you have to go deeper into the other section. Deep, deep down. Yeah, come on, Miss Gina. Maybe all the way up to floor three. Let's see. Cause there was, there was this robot here. Do you still talk? Robot? Hmm. Something's wrong. It's not luck or chance. This place does seem to be going south a bit. It seems like all the robots are busted now that we've completed their tasks. Yep. Well, let's just try. Oh no, I missed! <laughs> now, here's the real question. Did they think of this? What if I, like. Hey, I'm going over here. 
Is Gina here? Yeah. What if I'm like, hey man, how's it going? Yep. My God, it teleports the quantum Miss Gina. Miss Gina. Well. All right. Miss Gina, how are you always following whoever has the hat? She's the one that gave it to us. Clearly, it's it's a magical hat. Blinded by the light. Oh man. Not even a bad end or anything. <laughs> well, I wonder what previous, previous door? door means. Yeah. Well, we've got a save state, so let's go ahead and check it out. Do it. Do it. Oh, there, there must be a bunch of doors along the way. Well. Well, might as well just keep going from here, I guess. Yeah. All right, we have to. Come on, Miss Gina, let us hand. All right, no need. Capacity uh, overload max three people. <laughs> I must be a little too heavy. It's certainly me, and not the fact that there's four people in here. You kids, go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Wait, Miss Gina. I'll stay Dion, I'll stay Max, I'll stay Jack. Good luck, you guys. Miss Gina is in your hands now. Got it. I'll go call for help. Hope you don't die, kid I'm responsible for. You just sit tight and wait for help to arrive. In 60 seconds. I bet Dion is the one that we want to leave there because he's got the, the speedy boots. Yeah, but now we can speedy boots uh, these people along. I'm going to find Mr. Arnold. You two should get out of here right away. Uh, we know where Mr. Arnold is! <laughs> can we, we can't even go back down. Yeah, we should be able to go back down and, and get him. Well, I mean, we have to push all three buttons, but the buttons are already pressed. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We'll Maybe the monkey come here. What happened? Your teacher came rushing out. What? A time bomb? That's intense. Hurry up and get out of here. What? There's still someone inside? You abandoned him and saved yourselves? We need to pull out all the stops. Hey, help me with this. Okie, okay, okie. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, pretty strong green bird there. Yeah. This is my friend, a migratory bird. He was just coming to visit me. Hey, say hello. Oh hi. It's been far too long. Things sure seem to be getting crazy. On my way here, I. Golly, you sure do. Golly, you sure, sure do you... talk a lot. Oh, yeah. Now's not the time for that. The good thing the timer doesn't happen during cutscenes. Time is of the essence, okay? It might essence be scary. Of what? <laughs> it might be scary, but wind from below should slow your descent. Uh, and, and clearly, we can't just carry these kids indefinitely. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> just like f those kids. <laughs> I think this is important. A total of 264 luck rocks. You have a total of 274 luck rocks. You have a total of 284 luck rocks. That's not luck rocks. There you go. You have a total of 294 luck rocks. What? Something is written here. This is my greatest invention. People thought it was impossible for humans to fly, but this hot air balloon allows humans to do just that. This is a treasure I leave to anyone who is able to find it. It's also the only way to escape from the dungeon. Uh, except for that elevator that uh, clearly you all took out before. I pray this device still works when you find it. Captain Maverick. More like Captain Mad Dick. What an <laughs> asshole. Hey, you hold the door open, please. I'm assuming that's there to keep you from... Uh... 
accidentally uh, locking yourselves out, which would actually be pretty funny. What, the, the door? The door having to have somebody step on the inside button. Because if it was just to press the button and the door stayed open, you could walk out. Well, I guess if the door stayed open. Yeah, I, uh, I bet the door just stay stays open. No, we don't have time for that! <laughs> you have a total of 295 luck rocks. That was there as a way of you learning as you're running around. Hey, there's a way to do this. Like, try this in other rooms. Like, we should have done that in Miss Gina's room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, we'll never know now. Also, why are these stupid rocks here? <laughs> Just try to trip us up. Yep. All right, everybody on board. It's an air balloon. There's a basket at the bottom. Who would have thought there was a balloon hidden here? So how, how do we inflate it? I'd have to look down at the uh, thing where the note was. Oh, yeah. We can use this to pump hot air into the balloon. We'll need to work together, though. We have to think fast. With our weights, someone heavy should go on the left. The two others will pump from the right. That's the only way. Yep, it couldn't be one on the left. Whoops. It couldn't have been the other way around, right? Like, no. it would be impossible to work it that way. No. Also, they didn't let us think fast. <laughs> Alright, let's combine our power. Press to pump it. <laughs> um. Oh, you press to pump it. You literally just press the button. This is literally not a challenge. They shouldn't have made it so many pumps. There's a lot of busy work in this game. It's kind of funny that uh, it's doing these animations and stuff, but like, they should have just made it five. We're getting blown up, by the way, just so you know. Oh, I'm I'm pretty sure we are, yeah. We wasted too much time going back up the balloon. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you dummy. <laughs> Free teamwork? I got stuck. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Swoon, try again. Now, does it start back with the... Uh, oh, man, yeah. I thought previous door was going to be that. I should have put a timer down. Okay. No, no. We need oh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's uh, tell these guys are dummies. Now... Yada, yada, yada. I think you might be right about Dion, because I don't know that we actually have to go get the person, and that might have been a big waste of time, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we have the, we we have the, phone. the walkie talkie. Yeah. It's nice that they let the timer tick down when you're doing this, though. Of course. Otherwise, it's we'll also nice that they give us the out. chance to just stand around in here instead mm -hmm. of going out and getting the cutscene that stops the mm -hmm. timer. All right, folks. We're going to save the state when we get to the bottom here, too, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wait. I think I'll just save it right here. Yeah. Alright, you go here. You. Use your walkie doggy. No! <laughs> Probably need to step on that Thing too. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll do that after we... Okay, don't try to run up the... 
things. Although we're gonna save like a good 15 seconds on this one or something. Oh yeah. Luck rocks. Oh man. Wait a second. Where are they? I already got them. They were in the other three corners anyways, not this corner. No, there was one in this corner too. No, was there? Yeah. And then we probably already got them because we continued. I get yeah, I guess so. Weird. I was not expecting that. Yep, just make sure. We oh no. Please take us with you. They fell on us! Oh, they fell on us! A for more thrust! Oh, it actually matters, maybe? Yeah. How fast you press it? The, the, the only thing this is is that I thought... So we definitely wouldn't have made it the last time because it turns out you also have to do yeah. a balloon scene of you flying up. Yeah. Shouldn't the explosion be thrusting us upwise? Well, we haven't exploded yet. And also, who knows where all the explosions are? Maybe it'll collapse down on top How of us. How many of these freaking things are there? There's probably seven floors. This has got to be the last one. <laughs> Made it just in time. We weren't swooned. Is this swooned? going automatically? Swoon seems like a thing that would be from Teen Girl Squad, where, like, one of them dies from swooning. <laughs> this is going automatically, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, guys, by the way, thanks for um, letting us die, because that's what would have happened if we didn't save ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, why did Captain Maverick set that up to do that? <laughs> Hey, you found my crazy place already, with a crazy invention. Guess you what? You all died. the answer out. Because it's not Maverick. Maverick. It's Maverick. Maverick. I don't know. I don't know what you said. <laughs> I called him Mad, mad Dick. Because he's <laughs> mad and a jerk. I'm pretty sure you had this guy, but maybe. Well, how you doing? Good work, Winky. But the humans you've chosen seem to be very intelligent. For humans, <laughs> our duty has finally been completed. Although we were and supposed throw, to get them killed by the collapsed building. Then they throw their duty at us. <laughs> oh, Pluck! What happened to Pluck? He's never here when you need him, Pluck. Luck. You've got a lot of you've got a lot of luck rocks, don't you? Hey, Elder, how could you even suggest? I don't know anything about that. You fool! Do you think I'm a blind? I'm blind, you rascal! Wait, is the treasure just like 30, 40 luck rocks? Because that's not that hard to get. I don't know. Even if you have them, they won't do anything for you. Use them so the humans can get safely home, or else the Navy that was here couldn't possibly drive them home. They have to take this no, boat. No, definitely not. The, the Navy's already left. They left us to die. <laughs> oh, God, I heard a self-destruct starting. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here, school. Fine, just fine. Darn, I can't lie to the elder. I get it. I'll go do it now. The Luck Rocks are actually made out of uh, bird guano. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he went in there to poop him out. 
You're going to go fire up the engine? Why don't you leave it to me? Come with me, Jim. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> I'm a gym teacher, not a... <laughs> it takes three of you. Don't worry, I'm at least as strong as two of you. Oh, look at that flex. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, God, all the blood went to my head. <laughs> That's not all of it. Miss Gina, leave it to me. Jim, let's go. Arnold ought to be ashamed of himself. Acting like that at his age. He must be in L with Miss Gina. He holds up uh, his uh, finger and thumb to his uh, forehead. Jim, get in here. Now we must say our farewells. It's not easy, but it can't be helped. Like, well, remember, I... uh, Polly? <laughs> Wiggy, come off the ship. Good, it was starting to smell an awful lot like, uh, unwashed monkey around here. Where are the other, the other oh my kids, god. too? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, but, um... Uh, <laughs> Top Kid, what is he's, he doing uh, there? Listen, it, it, he's, it doesn't mean the same thing where he's from. Everyone else is just, like, hitting themselves on the head. And he, he, whoa, that is not what I expected him to do. <laughs> I'm assuming okay. this is... Come back soon, okay? Yeah. The ship's moving. That means we still have our luck rocks. Gina had... Yeah, that's true. Gina had more uh, wave animations than the kids, the boys. Well, let's just say that the animator had the same feelings as Arnold. <laughs> oh, God, he just mooned us. Apaches and wait, he's not dead after all. Not dead. Arr, I can't believe this. Those dumb kids made a fool out of me. I'm gonna steal their ship and sell it for scrap. I doubt it will even be worth much. What you got something to say? From now on, I'm the main character. Well, then you start second quest where you have to try to ruin the lives of three small children. Get ready for King Blue's story. There's many clues in it. What the heck? What's this? Hey, why is it getting smaller? Stop it! Don't just end on me! Dang it, I won't forget this. Sure. <laughs> hey, it's the fish. Looking a little high there. Yeah, he was the slow fish. Hey, man. If you catch me, just release me, please. Is that in case you didn't, like, if you went through the game and you didn't realize you could pinch the monkey's face. Although, as we recall, that wasn't really the monkey when we did that one. Oh, Polly, my favorite character. It's interesting that she had a hat that made her seem like she was like an elf person or something. And her ears yeah. definitely look pointy. But then when she's yeah. full size, it's like, oh yeah, I'm just a person. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying elves aren't people? Yes. Dang. The elf lobby's gonna come after you for that. Let me try. Well, unfortunately for them, they're fictional. That's what you think. Oh no, time machine will never work again. <laughs> Go froggy! I do like that it looks at first it looks like this massive frog, and it actually is pretty big. Yeah, reminds me of uh, Top Secret, the scene with the uh, with the telephone. Hey, I was way better at shooting this thing. 
<laughs> okay, I was a little bit better at shooting this thing. <laughs> Sweet music. Oh, they missed their chance. That should have actually changed the background music. Yeah. Or at least like transitioned the uh, the ending theme into another. Eight, six, another seven, five, three, five, nine. three, oh, nine. Wait, wait. Let's write that down. That's a different phone number. <laughs> I'm curious if I have a safe state near there. <laughs> I doubt it, but imagine. Yeah. That's got to be an Easter egg or something if you dial that phone number. Or else why would they put 0884 in there? Uh, maybe so that you just can't see, can't get the uh, uh, ending, like like it, watch someone else play the ending and then skip that section. Oh, uh, maybe, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, because you just asked them. Slurp team's final score collected two hundred ninety five luck rocks helped people ninety four percent. Oh wow, that means. What? Team, you were barely marvelous. Oh my god. The end. Is this because oh I kept god. the tape recording device? Oh my god. Yeah, it might be. Barely. 94%. Oh, you got an A+. Plus. Barely great. I guess it's just... Wow. A... This is a rude game. Now I will say I just checked, and the uh, the video that I used when I looked to to see if I could see the map uh, for those uh, um, for this final section, he only got a ninety eight percent. But it's also all in Japanese, so I don't know whether that's barely marvelous. Well, but also, here's, here's what's crazy though: that means that there's probably two people we didn't help somehow. Yeah, and also, um, what does that mean in terms of uh, like? Either that or, like, if if 94% is barely marvelous, what is, you know, like, how do you get much lower than that? And, and like, what is the lowest you could do and, and get to the end here kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Um, Are there really any side quests we were doing? Not really. I don't think so. I don't think there was a lot that we could have skipped. I guess. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it, it's... It, the, the game does not exactly have a whole lot of, like, optional ways to do things kind of thing, you know? Also, how did we end up back in the tent? <laughs> well, let's let's check some stuff out here, though. Because, like, well, we got a slave slot 8. What's on, what's on it? I mean, this is old enough that I could go from here and see if I could get better if I wanted to. Uh, I don't think 7 has one. 10, I think, does. That's too far. Nope. What about, like, the only ones I used? 6? I don't know. I do wish that um, it showed which, which ones were used. Yeah. On angry fish. <laughs> pretty early. That's way too early. Yeah. That's pretty early as well. Yep. These are all going to be super early ones. Now the uh, um, the video also got way fewer uh, luck rocks than we did. Only 167, but like we ended up with 294, 95 at the end, and like I'm surprised it wasn't like totaling up the uh, um, number of luck rocks you got continually, kind of thing. 999 save states. Good lord, it's what's possible. Well, I I don't think I have one in a great spot, yeah. but so I'm not promising anything. 
But I might off screen some stuff just to see. Just to see. Was it 11 that was kind of part way down? It was 8. That's a lot of the game 11. left to do, though. It was eight. I think it was 8. Man. The one thing I want to do is check the telephone. Yeah. That I'm, I'm going to do off screen no matter what. Um, but whether that ever ends up being more than just a little quick video, I don't know. So what did you think of this game? Um, you didn't save state at the uh, end just to see if there was anything beyond the... Uh, I the pressed every button that was possible before. Okay, all right. I left. All right, I wasn't sure. Um... I, I like that it uses the the Zelda engine, um, but I did feel that like it's too kitty and too handholdy in in many ways. Like um, a lot of the puzzle, like some of the puzzles are just really freaking obtuse, and then others are just busy work. You know, like the the final one where you have to pump up the uh, um, uh, and it the just balloon. like spells it out for you. Like, hey, just do this. Yeah. Yeah. Especially at the very end of the game. You think the very last puzzle, they'd be like, figure it out. And then if you try to do it with just two, you're like, oh, I'm not strong. Like, if you try to do it with, like, the big guy and anybody else, it goes, oh, I'm not strong enough to pick him back up. And then if you do it with the two-letter people, it goes like, oh, I can't even move this thing. Yeah. And, and yeah, let, let the player figure that out. Since it's a 60... Well, I mean, other than it pausing during... Um, cutscenes and stuff, and I don't think the timer was even advancing when you were on that puzzle. No, it wasn't. Well, it wasn't when I was looking at when I was doing the pumping, it wasn't. Um, if you're moving kids around to try to figure out which one's the right order is, but it takes you yeah. at a maximum like 30 timer seconds, which were longer than real seconds. Um, yeah. To, to get back there, right? So like... But you do need at least like 15 to 20 to, to actually get out once you're on the balloon. So, um, I'm actually disappointed about uh, where I put the the save too that I put down because. Um, oh, where did oh. that? That sucks. Well, no, that doesn't actually suck because the way that these things work. If I do this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. See, so I have Benson the pirate, and then I have Lilliput Kingdom, but I. I think I saved over the one that had two on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, which the, is too bad because. Yeah. Although. Oh no, I don't think I have another one. What was ten? Go to nine. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have this one. Oh man. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh man. This is gonna be the secret. Thing for all the people that it might be early on in that though I don't know I don't know man so I mean like there aren't monkeys blogging us I didn't like the puzzles most of the puzzles just because like some of them are just too obtuse and uh, most of the others are just really busy I did enjoy... Um, I did enjoy that... Um... Should I talk to him? I was trying to figure out how far along I was, but I realized that the camera guy isn't in there. I think um, this might be at the end. I did enjoy what they did with the engine for in terms of adding minigames and stuff. Yeah. But I should just look at my items. What do I have? I don't have the tape recorder. All right, so this is not going to be. This is not going to be get to the. Uh... I'm past this though. They did. They did a lot with the engine to add a bunch of stuff to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So much for that. Yeah. Um, there there is a few things that I like. Uh, some some gameplay stuff that I think would could have been. Uh, improved, um, like easier access to healing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I, but like the 
the busy work for the mini games definitely made it feel like a much more kitty targeted game, which you know, like obviously the 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 game is is not for adults by any stretch, um, and obviously not for teenagers. But I do feel like it it was a bit lower than I was expecting it to be kind of thing. I was expecting something more aimed at people who enjoyed uh, Zelda and just wanted a different type of game for it, but it is definitely aimed at a younger audience than even Zelda. Uh, definitely. I think. Which is interesting because a lot of the games that had to do with like sort of a, I don't know, children's adventure mm. um, tended to be aimed at some of the slightly older children to be like, yeah. hey, remember back when you went on these ad adventures on your summer vacation? Yeah. Um... Yeah, but what did you like about the game? Um, having the the party was pretty cool. I don't think it was a, the most like I don't think the game took as great advantage of it as they could have. But it was still cool to have a party and then have them you know have specific things that they could do, um, and then you know have that as you know some of the puzzle element and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think that was. That was pretty cool. I think that, um, that too could also be used if one was to try to speedrun this game. Mm -hmm. um, there are times where you take advantage of, I know I don't need this guy for a while, and if I leave him here, I can do dialogue later before I not have to run all the way back to town. Right. Right. <laughs> Definitely. And that would be uh, um, kind of interesting to see how quickly a 100% playthrough could be done in this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's some, like, you know glitch playthroughs to uh, um, you know, that, that you can do it in just a couple minutes kind of thing. Especially considering it's a Zelda Link That's to the That's true, if engine. they find a way to get into the wall they can just like, walk to where Miss Jean is. Yeah, exactly. And then you can't get the blue key! Ooh. But again, <laughs> like it, it isn't the, uh, the the Zelda one where you just get onto the screen for the end and then the game takes over. Like it takes. I guess over yeah, it depends on how the game's mapped out for this yeah. one. If uh, there's a spot to do that, but uh, yeah, it would just load up the uh, the end, and then that would be interesting because then you could get something like uh, um, a zero help to zero percent or something <laughs> like that. You help, you help nobody and have no luck rocks. Yeah. Um, I, I I do wonder if that was a translation error that we were barely marvelous at. I don't... I don't think so. I suspect if we had way less coins and helped even less people, because I think there are... I'm trying to think of it, and I can't off the top of my head, but I do remember kind of doing stuff and being like, oh, I thought this would have advanced the plot or something, and yeah. it didn't do anything. Um, yeah. And I think some of the people for back in time, like, there was things we did that affected the future, but we didn't necessarily need to. Yeah. Um, it could be. So... I wonder if you had an even lower percent, it's like, it says something along the lines of like, you're not even marvelous, or something like that, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. like, we're marvelous, and if you saw some of the other, like, I don't think people would play this game through this many times, although if, if it was one of three games that you had for you, Super Nintendo, maybe you would, but, um, if you actually didn't do well the first time, and you were told, like, hey, you guys didn't do that great, and then the next time they're like, well, you're barely marvelous, you're like, hey, it counts, I'm marvelous. Because Barely Marvelous is still Marvelous. Yeah. Um, so, looking at speedrun.com, um, there are... Uh, the any percent is 2 hours, 36 minutes. Uh, the 100 percent is 3 hours, 35 minutes. And there's a Gina percent that has no runs. That is for skipless. For the skips, there is uh, one hour forty-four minutes for any percent, and no one hundred percent or Gina percents. Oh, so there's there's some sort of skip going on in there. Yeah, uh, and that does mean that uh, if you Zerfall want to get a record, oh, <laughs> yep. Although it might be that the skips all happen after the Gina percent and nobody wants to do 100%. Although we could no, watch no the 100% Gina, at some point and... There's no Gina percents either for, for skipless or skips, so I, I have no idea what that even... Well, I could tell you. Gina cool. percent. Timing begins on new file select when you press start after entering a team name. 
time ends when the screen fades to black after the team leaves balloon, the balloon safely in uh, chapter You need to look five. at the category rules instead. No. Oh no, that doesn't have anything on it either. It, it, Gina percent is not um, explained properly in the rules, it looks like. Okay. Oh wait, show rules. Gina, Gina percent, at the end of the credits, your score must be 100% and you need to have 200 luck rocks in order to impress Miss Gina. So there you go. To fully impress her, you have to have 100% and 200 luck rocks. So we had enough luck Got rocks. It. Yeah. But we did not. So I bet you if you have 100% but only 198 luck rocks, she's like, you're barely marvelous. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's just that, that... Getting 200 luck rocks is super easy. We got way more than that. But to do that in a speed run. I mean, there were uh, places with Definitely. infinite luck rocks. Right, but to do that in a speed run. Yeah. I had to get 50 whatever less luck rocks than I did. Boom. So all the time I wasted getting massive amounts of luck rocks, I can still there do that. Just take 50 of them off. There are definitely luck rocks that we missed uh, in that final area. Not not like the big piles, but um, there were definitely play other places that we could have bounced to uh, get more luck rocks. I wonder some of those places that we couldn't get luck rocks to, like they were stuck in trees and bounce mm -hmm. and the tree didn't make them come out and stuff. Or there was that one guy that never moved that we could get behind him. If there was mm -hmm. some way to actually help that guy. Yeah, yeah that's possible. Yeah, I don't know myself, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's uh, it was an interesting game. Um, I'm not surprised it didn't come out here, given how it it plays and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, at the same time, I think if it had been and it had been uh, appropriately marketed to like, you know, six seven year olds, I think it could have done pretty well. Um, yeah. Because I like, I, I think the the biggest unfun parts were um, just the the busy work puzzles where it's like, you know, the the push it to mash it or mash it to push it or whatever it was. Yeah. You know, and you just. Those yeah, ones, you just those ones weren't so good. All, most of the things that happen outside of um, that screen, like, well, that's not true. So in the first, um, I would say two islands, you get a lot of cool like close-up scenes of things going on and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then those seem to really fall by the wayside as time goes on. Yeah. Right? There's there's less of the... You look at something and it literally switches to a separate screen and you're talking to a person's face. Right. Or whatever, right? Um, and, and I wonder if some of that is because it... Um, uh, you know, just like the need to make art assets for all of that. Art just... assets and probably memory for the memory uh, the cartridge, right? Because yeah, the more true. memory you have in these cards back in the day, that would crank the price up pretty quick. Yeah. Especially for a game made for younger uh, kids, you probably mm -hmm. don't want to have a cartridge that's like, oh, we're using as much memory as you can fit on this. Right. Right. Please, please pay the equivalent of 200 USD for this cartridge. <laughs> that's a good question. How big is this one? Well, Are you looking right now? Oh no, I'm I'm uh, I was just looking up something else about the game. Okay. Uh, so for like a game that came out in '96, though, uh, I think it does a, a an okay job. I think if you were a kid, maybe you wouldn't notice the push it to mash it and think like, oh man, like yeah, you'd be like, I did it. This is great. This is yeah, the thing I can I, do. And um, and that's one of the reasons why I feel like it's definitely aimed at. Uh, a younger audience because I, I don't think that a um, I don't think that uh, that would bother very young kids that much. No. Um, I do think too that um, the story of the game was pretty fun most of the time. Mm -hmm. So they did a they did a good job with that. Um, I would have liked to see more time travel shenanigans, but mm -hmm. but I get it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, uh, more puzzles where it's like you you have to go in the past to make a change, go back to the future to to go get something, and then go back to the past to do something. You know, a little bit more more 
fun with the back and forth and, and seeing things change. But again, you know, it, it would make the, uh, the cartridge larger. I did just look it up. It looks like a um, two and a half megs, give or take. Um, so, pretty good sized cartridge uh, for the time. Certainly not one of the largest, but uh, definitely not small either. Yeah. Well, I think that about does it for this. Um, well, what did you like, and what did you not like? Well, I mean, I liked I liked the story, and I think that the engine was well enough built. Um, I, the only time I really had problems with controls is when we first come back to the game, I was just getting used to the button layout again. Yeah. Um, I didn't like half the minigames. Um, I didn't like the repetitiveness of trying to do try something and then being like, it didn't work. Well, here's like eight lines of dialogue, like, dialogue you got to click through again. Right. Um, I feel like didn't need to... Especially the ones, like, if it was something explaining something, and you're like, listen, you failed, and it's clearly because you clearly didn't read this, that's one thing, right? Yeah. But if it's like, you failed, and, oh, the story thing is this person just telling you something, and you have to go through the whole thing over and over again, or anytime you talk to somebody... I understand repeating dialogue is important in games in case you miss something, but there were times that it was way overdone. Right, right. And, um, you know, having an option to go back and look at the the instructions again is great, but it should be an option. Yeah. Because, you know, you know what you're doing, you just did it wrong. Doesn't mean, you know, you, know, you don't need to look at the instructions again in such a case. You just need to do it again and do it right kind of thing. Um, so you don't need like dialogue and dialogue box after dialogue box. Yeah. Um, that was my biggest uh, annoyance yeah. with the game. The rest of it, I think they didn't do too bad. Uh, yeah. Good job with a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, I, I just, I just compared the, the Zelda cartridge, um, and that's only like 700 K. <laughs> like, yeah. So, so this is a massively larger game. And than... I mean, to be fair, I think there oh. are more. Um, there's more dialogue in it, probably. It's more like, dialogue. Like there's more bit. varied uh, environments for sure. So, yeah. you there's know, penguins. You're... Well, there's penguins in Zelda as well. Is there? Yeah. Uh, in the ice. Know. In the ice dungeon. Yeah, but they're not cute penguins. They're evil penguins. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. But like, they're I mean, not horny yeah. penguins. That's true. Uh, do you they're, know what? For a game that's for kids, know. there's a lot of horny things going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's also kind of Japan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, like, um, I, 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 the the environments were nice. I really liked uh, the Lilliputian Kingdom. I, I think that more could have been done with that. Um, mm. But I, I also just... I get a kick out of, you know, the, the, oh, you've been trunked down, now you're looking at all of the normal things on giant scale kind of thing. Yeah. Um, the, the one exception to that is how this tiny little wire became gigantic outside. Yeah, because yeah. It didn't shrink, but yet it's still connected and transmitting power. How does that work? I don't that, know. Well, that's why they had to transition the screen so that you wouldn't see <laughs> the transition point where suddenly everything gets big. And you're like, how come these people never notice this? But we're t still tiny. They've never gone to the forest in that specific direction because they just put up a guard right away. Uh, Apparently, so. for them to find out that that wire. And what was that wire even supposed to be powering? I clearly it was broken, but like, mm -hmm. if it was a small wire that had been running to the forest, one could assume that as it shrunk, it pulled and broke. Right. But right. But it was gigantic. Maybe it broke on the side where things hadn't shrunk yet. And that's why that one section is just really big. And then there's a small taper that's just off camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you know what? We didn't save the frog. We didn't save the frog. We didn't give didn't back our thing. Frog. Those are the two things. I bet the, those are the two things. So, and you know what? Both times, I consciously made an effort to be an asshole. Yep. Yep. Miss Gina's right. I'm only barely marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. On that note, folks, uh, let's call it a video here. Who knows if I if I off screen it all the way, 
I'm not going to off-screen it all the way. I'm going to try that phone number, though, for sure. And if it's something interesting, I'll post a video about that. All right. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you have suggestions for games that are uh, a little wacky like these ones, let me know. I'm always looking for stuff. Yeah. And I'm always happy to come along for a ride. Yep. <laughs> Talk to you later. See ya.